Hi there, I'm Colin Hamilton with Thuya Wood Art and uh, I'm going to show you how I make gates today. Uh, I'm going to put together a garden gate. Um, I salvage old growth red cedar driftwood from the beaches around the islands I live on and uh, I split it by hand. So I'm going to show you how to make a hand split cedar gate today. So first, uh, when I select wood and salvage it off the beach, I split it up into pieces that look like they're going to be useful for different things that I make. And then I stack it in the back here and let it dry out. This piece here looks really good. Nice tight old growth grain. And one more piece here for the other style on the other side. That looks good. See right here, a nice curved piece. Maybe I'll use that for the top rail. Alright, so I got the pieces we just picked out, and uh, this piece is going to be a gate style, so it's going to be either the left or the right side of the gate form. And uh, I want it to be about five and a half, five, five and a half inches wide. So I'm going to mark that out, and I'm going to split off the rest that I don't need to use. So I'm going to use my fro. This is a fro and my mallet. And we're going to go across the grain. So we've uh, taken and split the wood, uh, the cedar, into the shapes I want, with the sizes, and then I've used the draw knife to pull along the edges and clean them up a little bit. And uh, now I've laid out the wood on the ground of my shop. And what I'm going to do is mark out where the rails are going to attach to the styles so that we can do some mortise and tenons. go. Let's clean it up a little bit. We've now gone and split and done the tenons on the end of each rail. So now we need to do the mortise, which is the hole that the tenon, the tenon is this part here, is going to go inside the gate style, which is these two side pieces. So we need to mark out where the tenon is inside here. On the inside. On the inside. it in and there it goes a nice fit not too bad So we're going to 
leave the gate to dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll put the pickets in. Okay, so I got them all marked out with the pencil and I'm just gonna cut each piece and fit it in across. So we've finished the gate, uh, all the woodworking's done, and all we got to do is install some hinges. So I've had some uh, custom made hinges from the local forge, and uh, designed them just to have a nice end detail and to be the right size for this gate. Thank you.